Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a collection of marine debris in the North Pacific Ocean, located between Hawaii and California. Gyres, which are circular ocean currents formed by wind patterns, scoop up any debris transporting and collecting the trash in the middle. Today, there are five main gyres in our oceans collecting garbage. Contrary to popular belief, the Pacific Garbage Patch is not an actual island of floating garbage. The garbage patch is a high concentration of microplastics, which is intermixed with larger items. Plastic accumulates because plastic never disappears completely. With the use of heat, UV light, oxidation, and bacteria, plastic turns into smaller and smaller pieces, eventually becoming microplastics. There are 4 billion stars in our Milky Way, and 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic that reside in the ocean. Every marine species is affected by the debris either directly or indirectly. More and more sea animals are showing up dead with trash filling up their stomachs. These creatures mistake the plastic for food and fill up their stomachs, which gives them a false sense of fullness. Without any nutrients, the animals die of starvation. Sea turtles mistake plastic bags as jellyfish, albatrosses mistake plastic pellets for fish eggs, and whales inhale hundreds of pieces of plastic in just one gulp of water. Not only do animals eat plastic, animals are also getting entangled in fishing nets, six-pack rings, plastic bags, and more. Marine animals often drown from getting entangled in fishing lines, which is a concept known as ghost fishing. When fishing gear is abandoned, fish and other marine creatures are trapped and unable to escape, dying as a result. The plastic floating on the surface also blocks the sunlight from entering the seas, which autotrophs need in order to survive. These creatures photosynthesize to provide food for themselves and organisms in the food chain. The lack of sunlight has an effect on the entire food web. Over 1 million marine species, including seabirds, die every year due to plastic pollution. Once an animal eats or is entangled in plastic, all hope is lost unless humans are physically there to help. Charles Moore, the man who first discovered the Pacific Garbage Patch in 1997, said cleaning up all the debris would make any country go bankrupt. The National Ocean Marine Debris Program has estimated that it would take 67 ships one year to clean up less than 1% of the North Pacific Ocean. Every minute of every day, the equivalent of a truckload of trash enters our oceans. More people are coming up with ways to clean our waters, but what has to be done first is to stop plastic production. A good metaphor Greenpeace used was a bathtub. If a bathtub is overflowing, you don't grab a mop to clean it up you need to first turn off the water source. Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Seattle have all banned plastic bags. Encourage your town to do the same. Avoid buying plastic water bottles in bulk. Instead, use a reusable water bottle. You'll be helping the earth while also saving money. There are many alternatives to plastic. So please, for the sake of our earth, consider cutting plastic products.